concept of a virtual CFO is that the expertise you need will be there for the task. In a smaller business, when I talk a smaller business, I'm talking, you know, anything up to 20 million turnover or something like that. There's many functions within that business in terms of bookkeeping, payroll processing, management reports, etc., etc., which would require different skill sets. Now, a business with that sort of turnover might not wish to have a full-time bookkeeper or a part-time bookkeeper another person doing their payroll processing, another person uh, you know, doing monthly accounts, and then another CFO on top of that. What we have developed, I guess, is a system of being able to give that to a business with us taking those roles and slotting in experts in each field to make sure the job's done properly, efficiently, and accurately. Traditionally in small business, a lot of those functions will be done by the business owners. Typically, that's not their skill sets. Typically, somebody in business and you know doing whatever they're doing, let's say they're in a creative field, producing videos or something like that, their skill set is not to actually do financial information, bookkeeping, etc., etc. And in some cases, they find it quite tiresome and bothersome. But you know what? That's our business and that's our skill set. We enjoy doing that. We do it well, and that's our expertise. So it's about um, allowing businesses to focus on what they do best and in some ways uh, outsourcing the components that they don't do well or do not like doing. With the advent of the higher speeds in our um, internet, with modern hardware, um, computers and smartphones, etc., etc., as well as tablets, the software, the newer software, they combine to allow us to operate remotely. So that technology means we can do video conferencing, we can use something like Xero, which is a collaborative program, which means that business, for example, might be able to do their own invoicing. We do the bookkeeping, that business might do their payroll, but we tidy up the superannuation payments and stuff like that. Because the collaboration features within it, we can work out what's best for the business to do, what's most efficient for them to do, and what's most efficient for us to do. It also means we're working off one file. So if an owner wants to check on some of the metrics within that file, they're there as of what happened yesterday. Uh, there's no sort of assembling data from here, there and everywhere, pulling out a wages book to work out, you know, what wages were paid or somebody, you know, what holiday entitlements were there, etc., etc. So the idea is that you have one source of truth in that business around financial, around the metrics, around your liabilities, your payables, your money owed to you, etc., etc. Perhaps you're an online store or something like that, then you know you've probably got an automated sales function where people log on and buy stuff online, uh, put their credit card details in, payments go automatically into that system. We're not doing that, systems do that. But the functions around paying your people, etc., etc., um, usually somebody needs to do that. So it's a, it's a matter of, firstly, understanding what that business is uh, and what components can be automated, what components need to be done, then working out what is the most efficient way to do them, uh, who's the best to do them, how do we free up the owner's time so that they can work on their business rather than in their business. That's the key to it.